Hi guys, Gary here again from Discover School with another little lesson for you today. Today I'm going to talk about transport prepositions, specifically on, in and aboard, because there quite often is a bit of confusion about this in terms of whether you're in something or on something. So I'm just going to try and clarify that for you a little. So a preposition is a word that tells you when or where something is in relation to something else. Okay, so the prepositions of locations of in, on and aboard are a little more complicated than basic position prepositions like behind or above, for example. Sometimes location prepositions are logical. For example, in a house. In a house makes sense because you are physically standing inside the house. Other location prep prepositions are not so logical. For example, on a bus means inside the bus rather than standing on top of it like it implies. So, for example, you can be in enclosed spaces, for example, in buildings, water, deserts, forests, uh, countries and so on. You can be on a surface, on a road, on the corner, on a mountain, an island, etc, etc. The stairs you can be on those. And aboard really is a little more narrow. So for example, it's a formal word aboard, which we'll just talk about in just a second. But it basically means aboard normally relates to boats, aeroplanes and trains to be aboard. So, a general rule which you might like to remember, which you might find helpful, as a general rule, if you have to sit in the mode of transport and you can't walk around, you can't walk around that mode of transport, then you are in and not on. Okay? So, by this, I mean you are on a bus, on a train, a plane, a ship, an alien spacecraft, a bicycle, the subway and so on but you are in a car you're in a truck a hot air balloon you're in a taxi or even in a helicopter i guess if it was small enough so you're in because you cannot walk around inside that mode of transport now a board as i mentioned a board is a very is a very formal word that can be used for a train a plane or a ship and so a good example of that would be, we, we quite often in the UK, we would see the Queen is aboard the Royal Yacht Britannia. So it's very, very formal word aboard and you wouldn't use it very often, but certainly in relation like the Queen or maybe politicians, um, whatever, presidents, etc., you would see that they were um, aboard wherever they're going, aboard their plane. Anyway, I hope that's explained things a little better for you. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching.